Okay, so in this video, what I want to do is I want to show you the advanced option, which is going to allow you to get a little more um, more of your traits filled because it has like a one tick offset built into it. And also I want to show you the filter feature. And I want to remind you that our goal is to get basically net three and up and like be done, right? Net three trades and be done for the day. So I want to show you using the filter versus not using the filter. Now, what I'm not going to do on this video is I'm not going to do what you should be doing. I'm not going to look at divergence. I'm not going to look at ranges. I'm not going to look at stacks. Those are all things you should be looking at to get better results, okay? But I just want to show you how the filter feature works and the advanced template works. And again, that advanced template is going to help you get more fills. That's the advantage of it. So let's go in and what we'll do is we'll just... I've changed the time to go ahead and start at 9.35. I just right-click on here, click Go To, click 9.35, click OK. Once that loads, and this is really important, it's going to mess up your indicators, okay? So you're going to have to reload your template every time you change the time or if you use the slider. So you're going to right-click, go down here to Templates, and go to Load. And then I'm going to go down to, let's say I'm doing Replay. Okay, I'm going to choose the replay advanced option and I'm going to click OK. And that's going to fix my indicators. If I don't do that, my indicators will be out of whack and it'll place trades that shouldn't, then weird things will happen. Okay? So, what we're going to do is the first thing is I'm going to select my account that I have right here. Okay? Then I'm going to select my strategy. And then I, get, I have to select it here or it won't work. I'm going to hit play for just a second and hit pause again after that. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to choose, in this case, just for this example, I'm going to choose auto. But as I teach you in the other videos, use semi-auto, okay? And we're going to play it without the filter of DR. And I'll show you what the filter of DR does here in a second. But we're going to go ahead and play it. And it's not going to care if it takes a long while the trend's going down, if it takes a short while the trend's going up. It's just going to take every single trade, Okay. So we're going to hit play, and by the way, once you've hit play for about a few bars, go ahead and hit F5 just to make sure it refreshes itself. And if you want to really make sure it's in sync, you can right-click and go to Indicators and click OK. And that will, again, really make replay as in sync. You can also do that on your live charts like now and then just to make everything in sync. But let's click play. And then let's start speeding things up a little bit. So I want you to notice first thing out of the gate, took a loss with no filter on. Okay, I'm doing 10 contracts. So if you were only doing one contract, that'd only be a $100 loss. But still, out of the gate, first trade against the trend right here. And let's see, I can turn on, let me turn on my data series. I can go in and I can say show text and markers. And it'll show that entry and then it got stopped out. So let's go ahead and speed things up. So now we got to make two trades just to be back to break even here if we're not, you know, trailing and things like that. And again, it's going to take any trade it sees. Okay, so it took a trade right there. Took profit. And by the way, I have my commissions built in to my settings under tools, data, and then commissions. So you have to put them in for replay there. But I have them built in. All right, it just took another profit. <laughs> took another profit. Another one. Another one. Another one, and we'll do, you know, say one more. Oh, see, you did one more. What happened? We lost on that trade. So we keep going. Now we're back down. It was with no filter whatsoever.
So you've sort of paid for doing that one more. Now we got it. Like it's almost like we're starting over again. All right, so we got a profit there. Profit there. Okay, we're almost to our profit goal. Okay, so basically we have about 1500 bucks. And that took till 10 o'clock starting at 9.30, so it was in 30 minutes. Not bad. But you notice how we had all those losses in there, right? And I'm not saying you're not going to have losses with the filter. And, of course, again, we're not looking at things like divergence. We're not looking at things like uh, DR. We're not looking at stacks. We're not looking at ranges, okay? We're not looking at, you know, walls and things like that. This is just taking every trade. So, obviously, we teach you to be a little smarter than that. Use analysis combined with automation. Now... Let's rewind the tape, okay? So not bad. I mean, literally about 25 minutes, you know, we hit our, our goal. But we had to take that those two hits and trade all the way through them again and again and again. So now let's go back to 9.35. And notice, this is important, that I hit pause before I change the time. Always hit pause before you change the time. So I'm going to change the time, and again, it's going to mess up my indicators once it loads. All right, I'm going to go to right click. Now I want to I want to show you this. The indicators now are in just a weird, funky order, and I'll show you what they look like after the fact. Notice we should have all of our op and you know other indicators up here but we don't we have other things like shortcuts and bar range and things like that so we're gonna go up here right click we're gonna go to templates load and again i'm gonna choose the exact same template the advanced template i'm gonna click okay the replay advanced template because i'm in replay otherwise i can just choose the advanced and again there's an advanced two in case you're running markers replay on two different accounts on the exact same instrument. So if you had two in Q charts with the same instrument, that's the reason for one and two. You use one template on one, you use number two template on the other. You can't run the exact same template on the exact same instrument in two accounts. You have to use two different templates. So that's why we make one and two for you. And again, a reminder, I gotta go over here. I gotta choose my ATM. I gotta choose it up here. I gotta choose my account. Hit play for a second, then pause. Go back over, I'm gonna turn on auto, I'm gonna hit long, short, and filter. Now, what does filter do? Filter is gonna look at any trade setup, any arrow setup that comes up. It's gonna make sure that DR was red on that bar and the bar before it, or it's not gonna tra trade it. So if I hit play for a second here, you can actually see how it says longs are disabled and shorts are enabled. That's why it says disabled for disabled and enabled for okay right there. And then just a reminder, it's always wise to hit F5 after a few bars. And then just to double check your indicators and make sure everything is in sync, right click and go to indicators, and this is what it should look like. Order prints, OP, 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 the 2DR indicators, markers plus, all the, all the stuff that we're using for the automation that comes first. And then click OK. you're not in that order you need to load it back up so now let's hit play and let's start speeding things up a little bit so the last one we took you know a couple losses to get to 1500 okay on this one by the way notice we didn't take this long trade and take this loss right here, like we did without the filter. So we didn't take that loss, so we're already starting out without that loss, which is nice. And you may make more money at the end of the day without it if you just traded everything, but that's not a good idea in trading. Like, you gotta walk away from the table, okay? So we go for three and then done. All right, so we got a nice win right there. Couple wins.
got a loss. But at least we're not starting off with a loss. There, we got a win. Another win. Another win. Another win. We're up 1500 bucks. We stopped for the day. So that took me like literally five more minutes of my day in this case. Obviously, every day is going to be different. But with the filter, I didn't start off with the loss. And in this case, I only took one loss instead of two losses like I did without the DR filter. So it's your choice if you want to use it or not. You see, we sort of ended up in the same place either way. But in one account, we had to take, we started off with a loss and took another loss. Again, that can happen either way. So it's sort of a, you know, your choice. But I do want to show you just what it does, what it is. You know, now you know how the filter works. Now you know if you're having problems getting fills on the semi-auto, choose the semi-auto advanced. And that's basically made to where it has up to two bars to let you get in. And it has an extra tick offset for your tick profit. And that's how replay works as well. So... Hopefully you learned a couple things in here and let us know if you have any questions inside the Skype room. I'll see you inside the trade room.